Welcome to Clan TV. Brayhead Clan have won by seven goals to two against Nottingham Panthers here at Brayhead Arena. However, they still go out of the Challenge Cup, losing 10-7 on aggregate. With me is the head coach, Ryan Finnerty. Uh, Ryan, you had some strong words after the, the game on Sunday at Dundee. Did you get the reaction you were looking for? Yeah, I think it was a bit of a, a lacklustre game. It was always going to be with Nottingham having an 8 nothing lead here. Uh, the game got better as it went on. I thought the second period was probably the best stretch of, of hockey from both teams, but... Yeah, obviously it's good to, to get a win, but at the end of the day, we were knocked out of the cup, and 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 that's disappointing. But now, uh, you know, like I said, it, I'm ha I'm I'm happy with the result, but there's still a lot of work, uh, and when we'll go back to work tomorrow. Um, you know, we got to we got to we got to put a lot of things right here, and and, and we can use tonight as a, as a confidence builder. But no means are we uh, shadowing what where where we've been and where we need to go. I mean, losing 8-0 in that first leg, that, that would have been a, a huge body blow to, to you and to the team as well. How did you motivate the guys for tonight's game? It's been, uh, I mean, uh, this week's been bigger than this game. You know, we, we've had, we've had, boys have had two tough, very tough days. And, and tonight we, we came into it as a, as a game that we wanted to, to correct a lot, of, a lot of little things in our game that, that have been disappearing, the 50-50 the battles, executing, uh, uh, in our D zone, you know, playing big in front of our, our goaltenders and, and working from the D zone out. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the, with the result, but tomorrow we wake up and we still got to go to work here. And we're not patting ourselves on the back because Saturday is when it, when it really counts. And we need to see that. Uh, we need to play with more tenacity than we did tonight. But our execution, obviously, was, was pretty good tonight, and, and, and we'd like that to carry over. But, you know, it, it's... Uh, it's a bittersweet feeling, mm. you know. Obviously, we go out, and but right now, the the uh, there's still a lot for these guys to achieve, and they're, they're, I'm still looking at these guys to, to come in and, and put a, a good stretch here. And we got a, an opportunity with a lot of home games in our conference to put a good stretch on. And and uh, tonight was a good step in the right direction. Uh, tomorrow in, in practice will be will be the next one, and, and we'll continue to to uh, to probably have a bit of a miserable week here, and and, and we'll get things corrected, you know. Jill Champagne, uh, five points tonight. Ash Goldie, a hat trick as well. Those guys are firing all cylinders. Just what you needed. Yeah, you know we we need those guys, and you know, obviously they're 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 big players, and and they're, that's what they're brought in and paid to do, is put up numbers. We need Ash Goldie on the score sheet come Saturday, and and in the big games, that's where we need Ash Goldie on the score sheet. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm hoping they get some confidence tonight, and it carries over, you know, uh, and and that's you know that's a positive. But now it's. You know, we can talk and talk all you want, but we got we to go to work here. And tomorrow morning we'll be back here, and then Friday morning, and then come Saturday, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this team comes out with, uh, with some more tenacity. Uh, well, we'll, there'll be a game that'll allow it, and, I, and I'm hoping we come out because we, we owe a lot to our fan base. You know, we're um, not a club that accepts losing, and right now we're, we're not in a good path, and we got to, you know, the only thing you can do is put your head down and work hard, and that's what, that's what we're doing. And uh, tonight was a good step, and, and come Saturday, We'll see where we're at. Now, realistically, coming into this game, what were you hoping for tonight? Just a win, at least, to, to get the confidence up again? Uh, just a good performance. You know, you, you, got, you can't play an 8-0 scoreline. So we wanted a good performance. You know, we didn't cheat offensively. <coughs> um, we didn't want to change our game plan to play an 8-0 game because it won't suit us down the road. You know, and I, we had opportunities to close that score and make it a bit more interesting. But you know, that's a good hockey club there that that, that we played tonight. And mm. you know, they didn't they didn't show up with a ton of jump as, as most teams probably wouldn't with an eight nothing advantage. But you know, we're not we're not kidding ourselves. They're they're a lot better than what they've shown, and, and I think we still are a lot better than what we've shown. So it's a tough game to play for for both teams. You know, but now we now we take the positives out of here. We get back to work tomorrow on Friday, and then and then we put it on the line Saturday, and and, and that's going to be the real test. You know, we're not. Uh, we walk out of here thinking everything's great, then you know we're we're going to be quickly back to where we were a week ago. So, um, yeah, happy with it. Happy it's over, mm. and and now we move on. Can you update us on the latest with Joe Cullen? It was suspected broken ribs went out in the press release earlier in the week. Can you give us any inf information about uh, when he's likely to be out and, and if we'll see him anytime soon? Yeah, Cully broke two ribs. Uh, he played the he broke two ribs first period of the second and played the whole period with with two broken ribs. Uh, it was only when he when he was spitting blood towards the end that mm. he that he was concerned and. Uh, you know, adrenaline can do a, a, a ton of th you know wonderful things, but yeah. So once he you know once he was spitting blood, he consulted the doc there, and, and then we got him to the hospital and suspected yeah what we suspected was two broken ribs. Yeah. So you know it says four to six weeks. We'll see how how his recovery comes. Obviously, it's it's a big blow. Um, 
I think we suffered another one tonight, another injury. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, hey, she rains, she pours, but I tell you what, we, we seem to play better in adversity than we do with the full strength. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, um, maybe it'll help us here. Thanks so much, Ryan. Thank you.